everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be on this makeup look that I'm wearing right now this is an everyday makeup look and I'm gonna take you guys through my steps to uh, make up my face on a daily basis I generally skip a lot of the steps that I would use if I was going out or going to a special occasion um, when I'm going to work because you don't have as much time in the morning and who are you trying to impress at work is work you want to look nice but it's work mm -hmm. so um, this is a much simpler face and it should be very easy for anyone to try and um, it is kind of more low-key but still you look nice you look nice so I like my everyday um, work look and I wanted to share it with you I also want to tell you guys that this video is sponsored it is sponsored by a company called fresh books and this is an online accounting system and my phone is over here making noise um, but FreshBooks is an online accounting system that is perfect for freelancers or small businesses and it allows you to invoice clients and get paid faster and get organized. They have a 30 day free trial going on right now and I have information in my description box about the company as well as a link that will take you to their website if you would like to learn more. And if you would like to sign up for their 30 day free trial. So now we're going to get on to the purpose of the video, which is to see how I came up with this makeup look and make sure that you continue to watch because you're going to learn about bronzing as well as baking. And those are some of the steps that I definitely leave in my everyday look as well as highlighting. That is one of my favorite things to do. So I definitely highlight and on a daily basis. So if you would like to find out more about how I created this makeup look, then please continue to watch. I think I may have been out of focus a little a little while ago and I've adjusted my camera. So hopefully I am in focus now. Okay, so now I have applied my foundation. Next, I'm going to apply my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel. If you are a person that wants to highlight just a little bit, then you would want to do what I've done here. And this is a concealer that is slightly lighter than my foundation to help highlight as well as conceal. Um, if you would like for it to just kind of blend in with your foundation, you would choose something that was the same color as your foundation. So I'm just going to blot this in so that I don't wipe the product off. And I'm using the same um, Real Technique sponge. Sometimes I will use a makeup brush for this part of the process, but for some reason here lately, I've really been enjoying using a beauty sponge. Um, so for yourself, you can use a beauty sponge or you can use a makeup brush. This is the part of the video where I'm going to show you guys how I bake. And I really like the, the um, way my face looks on my makeup sets when I bake. So I have found the easiest way is to use a beauty sponge and just press it up against the areas where you are baking and this is a translucent powder by E Cosmetics and of course you know I had to have on black but I'll clean that up later and I'm really putting it where the concealer was and also just places where I may get shiny and then I'm going to leave it on there for a few a couple minutes. We're gonna now wait. Okay. So it's been a few minutes. So we're going to take a powder brush. This is one by It Cosmetics, and we're just gonna brush it away. I do notice that at first my face may be a little dry after baking but um, it it will allow my makeup to last all day so don't be alarmed if like you finish baking and you're like oh this is sort of dry looking um, as your as your day goes on 
it will begin to look more normal and you just don't have to blot um, use like blot powder or any type of powder on your face very often because this just kind of takes care of it so I really like um, over the course of the day how my skin looks when I bake so I would definitely recommend it um, while I am baking usually when I am getting ready for work I will go ahead and um, take care of my eyebrows brow bar to go by Gerard cosmetics that you guys have heard me talk about I just use that on my brows just to kind of make them stand out a little bit and that's it you know if you don't want to go through an entire process of defining your eyebrows then just carefully place this on your brow to kind of just help your brows stand out a little bit and that's a good enough look for every day you don't have to do everything to your eyebrows see how much better and all I did was take this little color here and my little tool that came with my brow bar to go and I'm just filling in the brow just a little Okay, so next I'm going to take this little cheap spoolie that I got from Ulta. I think that someone just handed me a bunch of them. And I'm going to blend. And I'm also going to apply the Brow Bar To Go Wax to set the brow. For my bronzer, I use this Guerlain um, Terracotta Four Seasons. And I just do this instead of contouring. And in the spring, you just kind of swirl all the colors together and I just kind of do this. use my Becca shimmering skin perfector and it comes in the same um, container it looks like this guys okay I don't want to reflect the light but it comes in the same type of packaging as my highlighter it's, it's the same line I believe but I use this one as a blush you'll see you'll see why in just a moment when I put it on my cheeks and you don't need to put much because it is very um, pigmented so if you put a lot on your brush you're gonna get a lot on your cheek before I do my highlight um, I'm gonna go on back up to my eyes and sometimes I do these in all sorts of order like it just depends um, <laughs> But um, I'm not one that does my eyes before my, the rest of my face. I don't have a lot of fallout issues, so I just um, don't. I'm priming my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I absolutely love this one. And it will help me to keep my eyeshadows on all day without creasing. So I also take my brush and kind of rub the rest of it in. I'm going to use my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. Let's see if I can show it without the mirror. It smells so good, y'all. I'm going to use the color Mousse in the um, upper area of my eye as a transition color. And I won't necessarily spread it all over the entire eye. Um, I, I kind of avoid the lid, but I just use this up here as a transition color. the color mousse one of my colors I use a lot because it's a good everyday color is the color caramel and it's a golden color shimmery color and I'm gonna just place that on the lid now remember this is an everyday face you don't have a lot of time so you're not necessarily gonna use a lot of colors you just use a couple two or three colors and leave it at that I'm going to use my It Cosmetics brush um, for my crease area. Let's go ahead and use Frosting. 
and we're gonna just pick that up and place it right here in the crease to kind of darken up the crease area I make a little V and I just drag the color over the crease area here and we're gonna blend all that out a little bit and we'll go here in this crease like a whatchamacallit and blend these colors in especially right here in the inner area okay so next what I'm gonna do is my eyeliner generally on an everyday basis I do not line the top of my lid but today I'm going to do it because I know that some people do and I'm using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner to line my lid but I am not going to create a wing I'm just going to line the lid okay now I'm going to do my lashes pulling out my Josie Marin Argan Black Oil Mascara I do not have lower lashes y'all it's just a waste of time so I don't even fool with them I don't even fool with them so I love to highlight and remember I told you guys that um, the shimmer that I used on my cheeks looks the same as far as the container so it's the same thing pretty, pretty much except this one is more of a um, highlight just take a little bit and I'm just going to highlight right here I noticed when I watched this back that I was a little light-handed above my cheek area and I didn't intend to do that I do usually put a little bit more on um, even for work but I do try to keep it very modest what I tend to do is kind of run right here. To complete the look, I'm going to line my lips with chestnut. And I'm gonna use my MAC lipstick. This is Shanghai Spice. Okay. I'm gonna finish the look with this Marc Jacobs lip gloss. So this completes my everyday makeup tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. This is Savvy, signing out.